On a night when the wind howled like the lonely wails of forgotten souls, Mark found himself stranded on a desolate road, his car's engine dead, and his phone battery lifeless. The darkness seemed to press in from all sides, and the cold bit through his clothes seeping into his bones. With no hope of immediate rescue, he decided to seek shelter from the relentless chill. Stumbling through the darkness, Mark spotted the faint outline of a dilapidated house, its silhouette jagged against the starless sky. Despite its foreboding appearance, the promise of refuge drove him forward, each step hastened by the increasing ferocity of the wind. As he approached, the house seemed to loom larger, its windows like unblinking eyes and the door slightly ajar, swaying in the wind as if breathing. Pushing aside his trepidation, Mark stepped inside, the door groaning shut behind him, plunging him into near-total darkness. The air inside was stale, thick with the scent of decay and neglect. Mark's footsteps echoed through the empty halls, disturbing the silence that hung heavily in the air. He called out, his voice cracking in the eerie quiet, but only silence answered back, as if the house itself was holding its breath. He found his way to what appeared to be a living room, where the remnants of furniture lay shrouded in dust and shadows. A fireplace, long cold, seemed to be the room's focal point. Hoping to ward off the chill, Mark gathered some discarded papers and broken furniture pieces, sparking a fire that cast a flickering light and threw grotesque shadows against the walls. As the room slowly warmed, Mark's eyes were drawn to a painting above the mantelpiece. It depicted a scene much like the one he found himself in. A lone figure standing outside a house, identical to the one he was sheltering in, under a stormy sky. The painted figure seemed to stare back at him, eyes filled with a mix of sorrow and warning. The fire's crackling began to sound like whispered conversations, and the shadows seemed to shift and play along the walls, independent of the firelight. The atmosphere grew oppressive, as if the house were alive, its long-standing solitude and bitterness seeping into Mark's very soul. Trying to ignore the growing sense of dread, Mark explored the rest of the house, his footsteps echoing in the silent, unyielding darkness. Each room was more decrepit than the last, filled with the remnants of a life long abandoned, yet he couldn't shake the feeling of being watched, of intruding on a sanctum of private grief and anger. In the upper hallway, he found a door that was different from the others, its wood fresh and unmarked by time, with a faint light seeping out from the edges. Drawn by an inexplicable compulsion, Mark reached for the handle, his heart pounding in his chest. As his fingers brushed the cold metal, the whispering grew louder, as if the house were speaking directly to him, sharing its long-held secrets in suppressed rage. Just as he turned the knob, a sudden chilling scream echoed through the house, freezing Mark's blood. It was a sound of pure anguish and terror, so visceral that it seemed to come from the very walls around him. The door swung open on its own, revealing a room bathed in an unnatural, icy light, the source of which was not immediately visible. Standing on the threshold, Mark peered into the room, his breath visible in the cold air that emanated from within. Inside, the outlines of furniture and objects were just visible, each covered in a thick layer of frost. At the center of the room was a figure, its back to him, unmoving as if frozen in time. As Mark stepped into the room, the door slammed shut behind him, the sound echoing like a death knell in the chilling solitude of the house. He realized then that the house was not merely a shelter from the storm but a prison of memories and sorrow, its loneliness and bitterness given form in the frozen figure before him. The whispering intensified, now clear words spoken in a language he felt he should understand, a lament of years spent in isolation and despair. Mark, unable to resist, moved closer to the figure, the cold biting at his skin, each step taking him deeper into the heart of the house's chilling, bitter nightmare. The figure, encased in frost, seemed to be the source of the house's agony, a manifestation of its darkest memories and emotions. Mark, drawn by a mix of fear and compassion, reached out, his hand trembling as he touched the icy surface. The contact sent a shockwave of visions through his mind, images of the house in its heyday, filled with life and laughter, which then twisted into scenes of tragedy and despair. He saw the figure, once a vibrant person, consumed by grief and madness, wandering the halls of the house, growing more isolated and sorrowful with each passing day. The house, in turn, absorbed the pain and loneliness, becoming a living embodiment of its inhabitants' suffering. As the visions faded, 
Mark found himself back in the frozen room, the figure before him slightly more defined, as if acknowledging his understanding of its pain. The whispering grew into coherent voices, telling tales of betrayal, loss, and unending sorrow, painting a portrait of a life that had unraveled within these walls, leading to a bitter, chilling end. Mark, now deeply entwined in the house's history, felt an overwhelming urge to help, to somehow release the figure and the house from their shared torment. He noticed that the frost seemed to emanate from specific points in the room, objects that held significant emotional resonance. A shattered picture frame, a wilted bouquet of flowers, a broken watch. As he approached each object, the temperature dropped further, the sorrow of the house pressing in on him, almost physical in its intensity. Each item he touched sent new visions coursing through him, fragments of the figure's life, moments of joy overshadowed by overwhelming grief, each ending in the room where he now stood. The connection between the figure and the house was palpable, a shared fate forged in misery and isolation. It became clear that to free the spirit, Mark needed to reconcile the memories tied to these objects, to acknowledge and release the pain they represented. As he interacted with each item, the ice began to recede, the whispering voices softening, transitioning from lamentation to a melancholic serenade. The figure in the center of the room started to become more distinct, its features slowly emerging from the frost, revealing the face of a woman whose eyes were filled with sadness and longing. The room once dominated by the chill of despair, now fluctuated between cold and warmth, as if struggling to let go of its long-held bitterness. Mark, empathizing with the house's tragic past, felt a surge of determination to break the cycle of sorrow. Just as the last of the frost began to thaw, the house trembled, a deep rumble that seemed to come from its very foundation. Mark sensed that the house was resisting the change, its identity so intertwined with its loneliness and bitterness that the prospect of release was as terrifying as its eternal suffering. The walls of the room cracked, the air filled with the scent of decay and old grief, the house mourning its past even as it clung to it. Mark realized that the key to saving both the spirit and the house lay in uncovering the root of their shared torment, a truth buried so deep within the house's memory that it had been lost to time. Determined to uncover this truth, Mark turned back to the woman's figure, now almost free from her icy prison, her eyes meeting his with a silent plea for release. The house, caught between past and present, whispered its darkest secrets, ready to reveal the story of its deepest wound, the origin of the lonely, bitter, and chilling night that had lasted for generations. The house shuddered again, more violently, as if in protest or pain, the walls groaning with the strain of untold years of suppressed sorrow. Mark, steadying himself against the tremors, focused on the woman's figure, now nearly free from her frost-bound confinement. Her eyes, clear and sorrowful, seemed to implore Mark to delve deeper into the heart of the house's anguish. Guided by her silent urging, Mark turned to the room itself, now partially restored to its former state, no longer just a frozen tomb but a repository of the house's most potent memories. He noticed a faded mural on the wall, obscured by layers of ice and decay, depicting a sprawling tree with deep roots and extensive branches, its leaves adorned with names and dates. As Mark traced the lines of the tree, his fingers brushing against the names, each touch sparked a flash of memory, scenes of the house through the ages, its inhabitants' lives interwoven with its own. The tree was not just a family genealogy but a map of the house's soul, each branch a lineage of joy and tragedy, each root an anchor in the dark soil of its past. The tremors intensified, sending cracks spidering across the floor, reaching towards the heartstone in the center of the room. Mark realized that the stone was not merely a source of power, but a keystone holding the house's fractured history together, balancing the weight of its accumulated sorrows and joys. He approached the heartstone, now pulsing with a desperate energy, as if crying out for relief or redemption. Placing his hands upon it, Mark felt a surge of emotions, the collective experiences of the house and its occupants flooding into him, overwhelming yet enlightening. Amidst this torrent of memories, a recurring sorrow emerged, a tragedy that had occurred within these walls, so profound and devastating that it had become the nucleus of the house's lingering bitterness and despair. This tragedy, Mark understood, was the key to unraveling the mystery of the house's haunting, the root of the chilling sorrow that permeated its very foundation. As the heartstone's energy coursed through him, the mural's tree seemed to come alive, its branches swaying, 
leaves rustling as if in a silent wind. The names and dates glowed faintly, converging towards a singular point in the tree's history, where one name was etched deeper than the others. Elizabeth, the same name as the woman frozen in time before him. Elizabeth's eyes met Mark's, her gaze imbued with a mixture of hope and resignation, as if she had awaited this moment for an eternity, yet feared its implications. Her story, intertwined with the house's very essence, was the thread that, if followed, would lead to the heart of the darkness that had held them both captive. The room around them, now alive with the whispers of the past, seemed to be waiting for Mark's next move, the decision that would either unravel the knot of sorrow or tighten it further. The house, with its layers of pain and memory, stood on the precipice of change, its future, and Elizabeth's, resting in Mark's hands. Compelled by a need to end the cycle of suffering, Mark prepared to delve into the heart of the tragedy, to confront the events that had led to Elizabeth's eternal imprisonment in sorrow and the house's descent into a lonely, bitter existence. The night, with its chilling embrace, held the secrets of a past long buried, ready to be brought to light in the quest to free both Elizabeth and the house from their shared nightmare. Mark, now deeply enmeshed in the tapestry of the house's tragic past, felt the weight of history pressing down upon him. The heartstone under his palms thrummed with a melancholy rhythm, each pulse a reminder of the sorrow that saturated the walls of this forsaken place. With Elizabeth's spectral gaze upon him, he steeled himself to peel back the layers of time, to unearth the root of the haunting that held them captive. The heartstone's glow intensified, casting eerie shadows across the room, as if the light itself were reluctant to reveal the secrets it held. The names on the family tree mural began to shimmer, converging on Elizabeth's branch, drawing Mark's attention to a specific date, one that glowed ominously red, the night of the tragedy that had sealed the house's fate. Compelled by an unseen force, Mark was drawn into a vision, a vivid reenactment of that fateful night. He saw Elizabeth, younger and vibrant, her face alight with hope and love, preparing the house for a grand celebration. The rooms were filled with guests, laughter echoing through the halls, a stark contrast to the silence that now pervaded. But as the night progressed, the atmosphere shifted. A storm gathered outside, mirroring the growing tension within the house. Through Elizabeth's eyes, Mark witnessed her discovery of a betrayal, a revelation so devastating that it shattered her world. The person she trusted most, her husband, was at the heart of a dark conspiracy, one that involved the house and its legacy. The betrayal was not just personal but ancestral, tied to the very land the house stood on. Her husband, driven by greed and a lust for power, had sought to harness the Heartstone's energy to control the ancient forces that the house guarded, forces that Elizabeth's family had sworn to protect. The vision led Mark through the house, following Elizabeth as she confronted her husband, their argument escalating against the backdrop of the storm's fury. The guests, oblivious to the truth, were swept into a vortex of unleashed energies as the ritual her husband had begun spiraled out of control. In a climactic moment, as lightning illuminated the scene, Elizabeth's husband turned on her, desperate to silence the only witness to his treachery. The confrontation ended in tragedy with Elizabeth's life cut short, her blood seeping into the heartstone, binding her spirit to the house, and unleashing a wave of darkness that consumed everything. Mark, reeling from the vision, found himself back in the room with Elizabeth's spirit. The storm outside had abetted, but the storm within the house, the storm of its tortured past, still raged. Elizabeth's eyes, filled with tears of ice, met his, her expression a silent plea for release, for justice. Understanding the magnitude of the betrayal and its repercussions, Mark realized that freeing Elizabeth and the house required not just confronting the past but righting the wrongs her husband had committed. The Heartstone, now a beacon of both sorrow and hope, held the key to unlocking the chains of history that bound them. Determined to end the cycle of suffering, Mark vowed to complete the ritual that had been tainted by greed and betrayal, to restore balance and peace to the house and its spirit inhabitants. As the first light of dawn began to seep into the room, casting a gentle glow on the heartstone, Mark prepared to step into the role that fate had thrust upon him, to become the redeemer of a house plagued by a lonely, bitter, and chilling past. With each decision, each action, he would unravel the tangled web of the house's history, facing the darkness that lingered in its corners and the light that awaited beyond the shadows. The path was fraught with peril, but Mark, guided by Elizabeth's spirit and the legacy of the Heartstone, 
was ready to confront the chilling night that had lasted generations to bring forth a new dawn for the haunted halls of the house. As Mark prepared to embark on the daunting task of unraveling the house's haunted history and setting Elizabeth's spirit free, a sense of urgency gripped him. The heartstone, now pulsing with a faint, ethereal light, seemed to guide his thoughts, whispering ancient secrets and forgotten truths into his mind. With Elizabeth's spectral presence beside him, Mark retraced the steps of the ill-fated ritual that had sealed the house's fate. He gathered the remnants of the ceremony, scattered and forgotten over the years, each item carrying the weight of past mistakes and lost opportunities. The first item was a tattered piece of parchment, bearing cryptic symbols and incantations that once held the promise of unlocking the heartstone's power. Mark, though not versed in the arcane arts, felt a strange familiarity with the symbols, as if they resonated with a deeper part of his being. Next, he found a pendant, intricately carved and adorned with precious stones, once worn by Elizabeth's husband as a symbol of his authority and ambition. The pendant had been imbued with dark energy during the ill-fated ritual, a tangible reminder of the greed and betrayal that had tainted the house's legacy. As Mark gathered these and other artifacts, the house seemed to respond, its creaking walls and shifting shadows a testament to the turmoil within. The storm outside had passed, but a tempest of emotions and memories raged within the confines of the old building, threatening to engulf Mark in its turbulent wake. Guided by Elizabeth's gentle guidance, Mark arranged the artifacts in a pattern reminiscent of the original ritual, the heartstone at the center, its glow intensifying as the pieces fell into place. The air crackled with a potent mix of anticipation and apprehension, as if the very fabric of reality held its breath, awaiting the outcome of Mark's endeavor. With a deep breath, Mark began to recite the incantations from the ancient parchment, his voice steady despite the weight of responsibility resting upon his shoulders. Each word seemed to resonate with the heartstone, stirring dormant energies and unlocking forgotten memories buried deep within the house's foundations. As the incantation reached its crescendo, the pendant began to glow with a malevolent light, its dark energy swirling around the room like a tempest seeking release. Mark felt the presence of Elizabeth's husband, the architect of the house's torment, his restless spirit drawn to the unfolding ritual with a mix of curiosity and trepidation. The air grew charged with raw power, the heartstone pulsing in time with Mark's words, the ancient energies converging towards a singular purpose, to sever the ties that bound Elizabeth's spirit and the house to their tragic past. But just as victory seemed within reach, a shadowy figure materialized before Mark, its features twisted with malice and regret. It was Elizabeth's husband, his spectral form a testament to the darkness that had consumed him in life and death. He spoke, his voice a chilling echo from beyond the grave, revealing the depths of his greed and the lengths he had gone to harness the heartstone's power for his own gain. As Mark confronted the specter of Elizabeth's husband, he realized that the true challenge lay not just in breaking the curse, but in confronting the lingering malevolence that had taken root within the house. The pendant, now a conduit for the husband's vengeful spirit, threatened to undo all of Mark's efforts, to plunge the house and its inhabitants into an eternity of darkness and despair. Determined to protect Elizabeth and the legacy of the Heartstone, Mark braced himself for a final confrontation, a battle of wills and magic that would determine the fate of the house and all who dwelled within its haunted halls. As the specter of Elizabeth's husband loomed before him, Mark could feel the weight of centuries of bitterness and rage emanating from the vengeful spirit. The pendant, once a symbol of authority and ambition, now crackled with dark energy, pulsing in sync with the malevolent presence that threatened to undo all of Mark's efforts. With Elizabeth's spectral form by his side, her eyes filled with a mixture of fear and determination, Mark knew that he faced a formidable adversary. The house itself seemed to hold its breath, the air heavy with anticipation as the final confrontation unfolded. Their husband's ghost spoke with a voice that echoed through the room, each word dripping with malice and regret. He revealed the depths of his treachery, how he had conspired to harness the Heartstone's power for his own selfish desires, blind to the consequences of his actions. But even in death, Elizabeth's husband was bound by the same chains of greed and betrayal that had ensnared him in life. His spirit, fueled by vengeance and resentment, sought to drag the house and all within it into a never-ending abyss of suffering and despair. 
Mark, undeterred by the husband's malevolence, stood his ground, his resolve unwavering. He knew that to break the curse and free Elizabeth and the house from their torment, he had to confront not just the spectre but the darkness that had taken root within the very walls of the old building. Drawing upon the knowledge and guidance of the Hearthstone, Mark began to channel the ancient energies, weaving a counter incantation that sought to neutralize the pendant's dark influence. The air crackled with opposing forces, light and shadow locked in a fierce struggle for dominance. As Mark's incantation reached its zenith, the Hearthstone glowed with a blinding brilliance, its light piercing through the veil of darkness that enveloped the room. Their husband's ghost recoiled, its form flickering like a dying flame, unable to withstand the purity of the Hearthstone's power. In a final, desperate act, the husband's spectre lunged towards Mark, intent on dragging him into the abyss of his own torment. But Elizabeth, her spirit strengthened by Mark's resolve and the Hearthstone's energy, intervened, standing between them with a radiant aura of protection. The collision of energies sent shockwaves through the room, shattering windows and shaking the very foundations of the house. Mark, caught in the maelstrom of conflicting forces, felt a surge of determination and clarity. He knew that the only way to end the cycle of suffering was to confront the darkness within himself, to acknowledge and release the shadows that haunted him. With newfound strength, Mark embraced the light of the Hearthstone, channeling its pure energy to banish the husband's spectre once and for all. The room erupted in a blinding flash of light, the darkness dissipating like morning mist under the sun's gaze. When the light faded, Mark found himself standing in the restored room, the heartstone pulsing with a serene glow. Elizabeth's spirit stood before him, her eyes filled with gratitude and relief. The house, once a prison of sorrow and bitterness, now radiated with a sense of peace and renewal. But Mark knew that the journey was far from over. The house, while freed from its haunted past, still held secrets and mysteries waiting to be uncovered. With Elizabeth by his side and the Hearthstone as their guide, Mark prepared to embark on a new chapter, one filled with discovery, redemption, and the promise of a brighter future for the house and all who dwelled within its walls. As Mark stood in the newly restored room, basking in the glow of the Hearthstone's serenity, he couldn't shake the feeling that the house still held untold secrets, waiting to be uncovered. The echoes of the past lingered in the air, whispering of hidden chambers, forgotten histories, and a legacy intertwined with the ancient powers guarded by the Hearthstone. Elizabeth's spirit, now free from the shackles of her tragic past, gazed at Mark with a mixture of curiosity and gratitude. She seemed to sense the lingering mysteries that pervaded the house, a shared knowledge that hinted at a deeper connection between them and the Hearthstone's legacy. With newfound purpose, Mark and Elizabeth set out to explore the house's hidden depths, guided by the Hearthstone's radiant energy and the echoes of memories long dormant. They discovered secret passages concealed behind walls, rooms that seemed to shift and change with the shifting of the Hearthstone's energies, and relics of a bygone era that spoke of a time when the house was not just a place of sorrow but also of wonder and magic. Each discovery brought them closer to unraveling the house's enigmatic past, revealing glimpses of a forgotten civilization that had once revered the Hearthstone as a source of wisdom and power. Mark realized that the Hearthstone was not just a relic of the house's history, but a key to unlocking its true potential, a beacon that attracted seekers of knowledge and guardians of ancient secrets. But as they delved deeper into the house's mysteries, they also encountered remnants of darker forces that had sought to exploit the Hearthstone's power for nefarious purposes. Shadowy figures, ethereal whispers, and lingering traces of malevolent energy hinted at a struggle that had spanned generations, a battle between light and darkness that had left its mark on the very fabric of the house. With Elizabeth's guidance and the protection of the Hearthstone, Mark faced these challenges head-on, confronting spectral guardians and deciphering cryptic riddles that guarded long-forgotten chambers. Each step brought them closer to understanding the true nature of the Hearthstone and the ancient forces it contained. But with knowledge came danger, as dark forces from beyond the veil of reality began to take notice of the Hearthstone's awakened power. Entities of shadow and malice, 
drawn by the allure of the Hearthstone's energies, soared to claim it for their own, unleashing a wave of supernatural phenomena that threatened to engulf their house and all who dwelled within it. Mark and Elizabeth, now bound by a shared destiny, faced these new threats with courage and determination. They uncovered ancient spells of protection, forged alliances with benevolent spirits, and delved deeper into the Hearthstone's mysteries, hoping to unlock its full potential and safeguard it from those who sought to misuse its power. But as the veil between worlds grew thinner, and the boundary between light and darkness blurred, Mark and Elizabeth realized that their journey was far from over. The Hearthstone, with its ancient wisdom and untapped energies, held the key to a greater understanding of the universe and their place within it. With the house as their sanctuary and the Hearthstone as their guide, Mark and Elizabeth prepared to face whatever challenges lay ahead, knowing that their bond and their determination would see them through the trials of a world where horror and wonder intertwined in a dance as old as time itself. As Mark and Elizabeth delved deeper into the mysteries of the Hearthstone and the ancient powers it held, they uncovered a hidden chamber deep within the bowels of the house. The chamber, untouched by time and hidden from prying eyes, contained artifacts of immense significance, ancient scrolls, arcane tomes, and relics imbued with the essence of the Hearthstone. The scrolls, written in a language long forgotten, spoke of a prophecy, a prophecy that foretold of a chosen one who would wield the Hearthstone's power to restore balance to the realms of light and shadow. Mark, realizing the weight of this revelation, felt a surge of destiny coursing through him, a sense of purpose that transcended the confines of mortal understanding. But along with the prophecy came warnings of a great darkness, an ancient evil that sought to corrupt the Hearthstone and plunge the world into eternal night. The shadowy forces that had been lurking at the edges of their journey now revealed themselves in full, manifesting as spectral beings of pure malevolence. The house, once a sanctuary, now became a battleground, as Mark and Elizabeth faced off against the encroaching darkness. The Hearthstone's power, amplified by their shared determination and the knowledge gleaned from the ancient scrolls, served as their shield and their sword against the advancing horde of shadowy entities. Each confrontation tested their resolve and their abilities, pushing them to the brink of their endurance. But Mark, fueled by the prophecy and Elizabeth's unwavering support, tapped into powers he never knew he possessed, unleashing torrents of light that banished the darkness and restored balance to the house. Yet, with each victory came new revelations and new challenges. The Hearthstone, now fully awakened, revealed glimpses of other realms and dimensions, each with its own inhabitants and mysteries waiting to be explored. Mark and Elizabeth, now seasoned adventurers in the realms of the supernatural, embarked on a journey beyond the confines of the house, venturing into realms of myth and legend. They encountered beings of immense power and wisdom, ancient guardians of the Hearthstone who had watched over its secrets for eons. These beings, while initially cautious of the intruders, recognized the purity of Mark and Elizabeth's intentions, and imparted upon them knowledge and gifts that would aid them in their quest. But not all beings they encountered were benevolent. Dark entities, drawn by the Hearthstone's awakened energies, sought to challenge Mark and Elizabeth, testing their mettle and resolve. Battles raged across landscapes that defied mortal comprehension, realms where time flowed like water and reality shifted with each step. Through it all, Mark and Elizabeth remained steadfast, their bond grown stronger with each trial they faced. They uncovered fragments of prophecies that spoke of a final reckoning, a cataclysmic clash between light and darkness that would determine the fate of not just their world but countless others linked to the Hearthstone's power. As they journeyed deeper into the realms of the supernatural, the lines between reality and myth blurred, prophecies intertwined, and destinies collided. Mark and Elizabeth, guided by the Hearthstone's radiant light, prepared for the ultimate confrontation, knowing that the horrors they faced were but preludes to the true battle that awaited them. As Mark and Elizabeth delved deeper into the realms of myth and legend, they encountered beings of incredible power and knowledge. Ancient guardians of the Hearthstone shared with them the secrets of the cosmos, revealing the interconnectedness of all existence and the role the Hearthstone played in maintaining cosmic balance. 
They learned of otherworldly realms teeming with life and energy, each with its own unique inhabitants and ecosystems. Creatures of light and shadow, magic and technology, coexisted in a delicate harmony that had been preserved for millennia by the Hearthstone's influence. But alongside the wonders of these realms lurked threats of unimaginable magnitude. Dark forces, ancient and relentless, sought to claim the Hearthstone for their own twisted purposes. They unleashed hordes of monstrous creatures, twisted amalgamations of nightmares and nightmares, to assault Mark and Elizabeth's journey at every turn. The battles that ensued were epic in scale, spanning dimensions and defying mortal comprehension. Mark and Elizabeth, wielding the powers bestowed upon them by the Hearthstone and their newfound allies, faced these challenges head-on, their resolve unyielding in the face of overwhelming odds. Amidst the chaos of battle, they uncovered fragments of prophesies and ancient lore that spoke of a cosmic cycle, a cycle of creation and destruction, of light and darkness, that had repeated throughout history. The Hearthstone, as the focal point of this cycle, held the key to breaking the endless cycle of conflict and ushering in a new era of harmony. But the path to fulfilling the prophecy was fraught with trials and tribulations. Mark and Elizabeth traversed landscapes of surreal beauty and haunting desolation, encountering beings of immense power and wisdom who tested their virtues and resolve. They braved the depths of ancient ruins, where echoes of forgotten civilizations whispered secrets of the Hearthstone's origins and purpose. They delved into the heart of celestial storms, where energies of creation and annihilation clashed in a symphony of cosmic forces. Through it all, their bond grew stronger, their partnership forged in the crucible of adversity. Mark's innate courage and determination complemented Elizabeth's wisdom and intuition, creating a synergy that transcended mortal limitations. As they approached the culmination of their journey, the prophesies grew clearer, revealing a final confrontation that would decide the fate of the Hearthstone and the worlds that influenced. Forces of light and darkness converged, drawn by the Hearthstone's radiant energy, as Mark and Elizabeth prepared for the ultimate battle of their lives. The final battle loomed on the horizon, an epic clash between the forces of light and darkness that would determine the fate of the Hearthstone and the countless worlds connected to its power. Mark and Elizabeth, armed with the knowledge and blessings of the ancient guardians, stood at the forefront of this cosmic struggle, ready to confront the looming threat that threatened to engulf everything in its path. The realms they traversed grew increasingly surreal and treacherous as they neared the heart of the conflict. They encountered realms where time flowed backward, where memories and echoes of past battles replayed in endless loops, testing their resolve and determination. In one such realm, they faced mirror images of themselves, twisted reflections born of their deepest fears and doubts. The doppelgangers taunted and mocked them, probing their vulnerabilities with cruel precision. But Mark and Elizabeth, strengthened by their bond and guided by the Hearthstone's radiant light, overcame these challenges, proving their worthiness to wield the cosmic forces at their disposal. As they ventured deeper into the heart of the conflict, they discovered ancient artifacts and relics that held the key to unlocking the Hearthstone's full potential. Each artifact bore the mark of a previous champion, a hero who had stood against the encroaching darkness in ages past. Mark and Elizabeth, Realizing the weight of their roles as the Chosen Ones, gathered these artifacts, harnessing their power in preparation for the final battle. But the darkness they faced was not just external, it lurked within, tempting them with promises of power and control. The Hearthstone's energies, while pure and potent, also carried the potential for corruption if not wielded with care and humility. Mark and Elizabeth grappled with their own inner demons, confronting their deepest fears and desires as they prepared to face the ultimate test of their strength and resolve. The cosmic convergence drew near, a celestial event that would align the stars and unleash the full power of the Hearthstone. The forces of light and darkness gathered, their clash sending shockwaves through the fabric of reality itself. Mark and Elizabeth, Surrounded by allies and guardians from across the realms, stood at the forefront of this cataclysmic event, their hearts filled with determination and hope. 
As the final battle commenced, the very heavens trembled with the intensity of the conflict. Beams of radiant light clashed with tendrils of shadowy darkness, creating a dazzling spectacle that illuminated the skies for miles around. The ground shook with each impact, the earth itself bearing witness to the titanic struggle unfolding before it. Mark and Elizabeth, empowered by the artifacts and relics they had gathered, unleashed torrents of light and energy that pushed back the encroaching darkness. Their allies fought valiantly by their side, their combined efforts creating a barrier of light that held the darkness at bay. But the dark forces were relentless, their numbers seemingly endless. They unleashed monstrous creatures, twisted abominations born of nightmares and ancient sorcery, to overwhelm the defenders. The battle raged on, each moment fought with peril and determination, as Mark and Elizabeth led the charge against the looming threat. Amidst the chaos and destruction, a singular figure emerged from the heart of the darkness, a being of immense power and malevolence, the source of the ancient evil that had sought to claim the heartstone for millennia. Its form twisted and contorted, its eyes gleaming with a hunger for dominance and control. The final confrontation was at hand, a showdown that would decide the fate of the Hearthstone and the worlds it influenced. Mark and Elizabeth, their hearts ablaze with courage and determination, prepared to face this ultimate test of their strength and unity, knowing that the outcome would shape the destiny of the cosmos itself. The being of immense power and malevolence, known only as the Darkness Incarnate, loomed over the battlefield, its presence casting a pall of dread over all who beheld it. Its form shifted and twisted, defying comprehension, as if it were a manifestation of the very fabric of nightmares. Mark and Elizabeth stood firm, their resolve unshaken by the overwhelming darkness that threatened to consume them. With the Heartstone's radiant energy coursing through their veins, they faced the darkness incarnate with unwavering determination, ready to confront the ancient evil that had plagued the cosmos for untold eons. The battle that ensued was unlike anything the realms had ever witnessed. Beams of blinding light clashed with tendrils of inky darkness, the air crackling with raw elemental energy. Each strike sent shockwaves rippling through the battlefield, reshaping the very landscape with its destructive force. Mark and Elizabeth, fueled by the courage of their allies and the knowledge of their shared destiny, unleashed torrents of power that pushed back against the darkness incarnate's onslaught. Their movements were fluid and synchronized, as if they were two halves of a greater whole, perfectly complementing each other's strengths and weaknesses. But the darkness incarnate was not easily vanquished. It countered with devastating attacks, unleashing waves of corruption and decay that threatened to unravel the very fabric of reality. Its minions, twisted abominations born of its malevolent will, swarmed the battlefield, overwhelming the defenders with their sheer numbers. Amidst the chaos, Mark and Elizabeth tapped into reserves of power they never knew they possessed. They called upon the ancient relics and artifacts they had gathered throughout their journey, channeling their energies into a unified assault against the darkness incarnate. Their heartstone, pulsing with a brilliance that rivaled the sun, became the focal point of their final gambit. Mark and Elizabeth channeled their combined energies into the heartstone, transforming it into a beacon of pure, unadulterated light that pierced through the darkness like a celestial sword. The very fabric of reality trembled as the Hearthstone's light converged on the darkness incarnate, searing through its form with a blinding intensity. The ancient evil roared in defiance, its essence unraveling under the onslaught of pure, untainted energy. For a moment, it seemed as if victory was within reach. The darkness incarnate faltered, its form flickering and fading like a dying ember. But in its desperation, it unleashed one final, devastating attack, a cataclysmic blast of dark energy that threatened to consume everything in its path. Mark and Elizabeth, realizing the magnitude of the threat, poured every ounce of their being into countering the darkness. They summoned all their strength, all their courage, and all their determination, creating a barrier of light that absorbed the darkness's onslaught. The clash of energies created a shockwave that reverberated across the realms, shaking the very foundations of existence. 
Reality itself seemed to warp and distort as light and darkness collided in a cataclysmic climax that would determine the fate of the Hearthstone and the cosmos. And with that, the story continues in the next process. As the clash of light and darkness reached its crescendo, a deafening roar echoed across the battlefield, a primal scream of defiance that seemed to shake the very essence of existence. Reality warped and twisted, creating rifts and anomalies that threatened to tear the fabric of the cosmos asunder. Mark and Elizabeth, their bodies barked in the Hearthstone's radiant energy, stood at the epicenter of the cataclysm, their minds and spirits locked in a fierce struggle against the encroaching darkness. With every ounce of their being, they pushed back against the tide of corruption, their willpower the only barrier between salvation and oblivion. The forces of light rallied around them, their combined efforts creating a protective cocoon of energy that shielded them from the darkness in Panate's final assault. The ancient evil, its form flickering and fragmenting under the onslaught of pure light, unleashed one last desperate gambit, a surge of dark energy that threatened to engulf the entire battlefield. But Mark and Elizabeth, their bonds strengthened by adversity and forged in the fires of conflict, refused to yield. With a collective roar of defiance, they channeled the Hearthstone's power into a focused beam of radiant energy, aiming it directly at the heart of the darkness incarnate. The clash that followed was a spectacle beyond comprehension. Light and darkness collided with such ferocity that it seemed to distort time and space itself. The very air crackled with raw elemental energy, the ground beneath their feet trembled, and the sky above churned with swirling vortexes of light and shadow. In that moment of sublime chaos, Mark and Elizabeth tapped into a deeper reservoir of power, the power of their shared bond, their unbreakable unity in the face of overwhelming odds. With a surge of determination that transcended mortal limitations, they unleashed a final, devastating onslaught that shattered the darkness incarnate's form into a million shards of fragmented darkness. For a moment, the battlefield fell silent, the echoes of the titanic clash fading into the ether. Mark and Elizabeth, their bodies and spirits exhausted but unbowed, gazed upon the aftermath of their struggle. The darkness incarnate, once a formidable threat that loomed over the cosmos, lay vanquished, its essence scattered to the cosmic winds. But victory came at a cost. Their heartstone, its energies depleted from the monumental battle, flickered and dimmed, its radiant light waning. Mark and Elizabeth realized that the Hearthstone's power had been spent in the final confrontation, leaving them with a sense of emptiness and uncertainty. As they surveyed the battlefield, they saw that the realms around them had been irrevocably changed by the cataclysmic clash. Planes of existence overlapped and merged, creating new landscapes and horizons that defied mortal understanding. The very laws of physics and magic seemed to blur, creating a surreal tapestry of realities intertwined. But amidst the chaos and upheaval, a sense of hope and renewal lingered in the air. Mark and Elizabeth, their bond stronger than ever, knew that their journey was far from over. Their heartstone, while depleted, still held untapped potential, a promise of rebirth and transformation for the cosmos and all who inhabited it. With a shared determination to rebuild and restore balance to the realms, Mark and Elizabeth embarked on a new chapter of their adventure, their hearts filled with the knowledge that they had faced the ultimate horror and emerged victorious, ready to face whatever challenges the future held. As Mark and Elizabeth embarked on their new chapter, they found themselves navigating through the ever-changing landscapes of the post-cataclysmic realms. The aftermath of the battle had left a profound impact, with rifts in reality opening and closing unpredictably, creating pockets of unstable energy that threatened to engulf anything in their path. Their heartstone, while depleted of its immediate power, still held remnants of its ancient energies. Mark and Elizabeth sensed that there was more to the heartstone than met the eye, a hidden potential waiting to be unlocked. With the guidance of their allies and the wisdom gained from their journey, they set out to unravel the mysteries of the Hearthstone and restore its full power. Their quest led them to ancient temples and forgotten ruins, remnants of civilizations long lost to the sands of time. 
Each location held clues and artifacts that hinted at the Hearthstone's true nature and purpose. Mark and Elizabeth delved into the depths of these ancient sites, deciphering cryptic inscriptions and navigating treacherous traps left behind by ancient guardians. But they were not alone in their pursuit. Dark remnants of the Darkness Incarnate's influence still lingered, manifesting as malevolent entities that sought to claim the Hearthstone's remaining power for themselves. The battle was far from over, as Mark and Elizabeth faced off against these lingering threats, their resolve tested once again in the crucible of conflict. Amidst their quest, they encountered beings of immense power and wisdom, cosmic entities who had witnessed the ebb and flow of the universe for eons. These beings, guardians of cosmic balance, offered guidance and insights into the true nature of the Hearthstone and its role in maintaining harmony across the realms. The Hearthstone, they learned, was not just a source of power but a catalyst for transformation. It held the potential to weave together disparate realities, bridging gaps between dimensions and fostering unity among diverse civilizations. Mark and Elizabeth realized that their journey was not just about restoring the Hearthstone's power but about reshaping the very fabric of existence itself. As they delved deeper into the Hearthstone's mysteries, they uncovered ancient prophecies that spoke of a time of reckoning, a convergence of cosmic forces that would test the boundaries of reality and determine the fate of the cosmos. Mark and Elizabeth, now bound by destiny and purpose, prepared for the challenges ahead, knowing that the true horror lay not in the battles they had fought but in the uncertainties of what lay ahead. As the final confrontation approached, Mark and Elizabeth knew that the fate of the cosmos hung in the balance. The remnants of the darkness incarnate's influence still lingered, threatening to tip the delicate scales of cosmic balance once more. With the Hearthstone's remaining power pulsing faintly within them, they braced themselves for the ultimate test of their strength and resolve. The cosmic convergence loomed overhead, a celestial event that would bring together the forces of light and darkness in a climactic showdown. Mark and Elizabeth, standing at the nexus of this convergence, felt the weight of destiny upon their shoulders. They knew that the outcome of this battle would shape the course of the universe for millennia to come. As the forces of light and darkness clashed in a symphony of elemental energies, Mark and Elizabeth unleashed torrents of power that pushed back against the encroaching darkness. Their allies, drawn from across the realms, fought valiantly by their side, their collective determination creating a barrier of light that held the darkness at bay. But the darkness incarnate, its essence fragmented but not defeated, launched a final assault that threatened to overwhelm the defenders. Its form twisted and contorted, merging with the shadows in a last-ditch effort to claim victory. In the midst of the chaos, Mark and Elizabeth tapped into the Hearthstone's final reserves of power, channeling it into a focused beam of pure light that pierced through the darkness with blinding intensity. The darkness incarnate recoiled, its form disintegrating into nothingness as the light consumed it. The cosmic convergence reached its zenith, and for a moment, the realms held their breath. The clash of energies subsided, leaving behind a profound silence that reverberated through the cosmos. Mark and Elizabeth, their bodies and spirits exhausted but triumphant, gazed upon the aftermath of their struggle. The darkness that had threatened to consume everything was gone, replaced by a newfound sense of peace and harmony. Their heartstone, its power spent but its purpose fulfilled, shimmered faintly before fading into obscurity. Mark and Elizabeth knew that the Hearthstone's legacy would live on, its teachings and revelations guiding future generations towards a brighter future. With the cosmic balance restored, Mark and Elizabeth bid farewell to their allies and embarked on a journey of reflection and renewal. They knew that their adventure had come to an end, but the lessons they had learned and the bonds they had forged would remain with them forever. As they looked towards the horizon, a sense of hope and possibility filled their hearts. The horrors they had faced had tested their limits and pushed them to the brink, but they had emerged stronger and wiser because of it. And so, with one final glance back at the journey they had undertaken, Mark and Elizabeth stepped into the unknown, ready to face whatever challenges the future held with courage and resilience. 
Their story may have ended, but the echoes of their triumph would resonate throughout the cosmos for eternity.